What's up, heroes? My name is Siler Clone, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, and The Adventures of Aswa Dick Whistle. So today we are clearly going to be going into an obvious trap. We're going to be going into the Jack Jack Tar. Vices, uh, Visquez has requested our presence. We know the crew is in trouble, and we just need to go ahead and get this trap over with so we might be able to help them. I don't think we'll be able to go on back to try to help them out because we had to get this far alone so i know it's filled with poison so i think what i'm gonna do right away is put on my breath mask to be immune from poison right away i'll take my hit to will prep my battle meditation and let's go no you don't hanhar i was saving this dart for you hanhar but right now i need one less jedi running around what the heck is going on i up the dosage enough to take down a ronto did did i just get drugged did something just get, get happen where I got drugged? I'm so confused. Is really going on? I'm so confused. Why is why did I just get drugged? Okay, so I'm apparently this girl now. All right, well she's a scout, so jack of all trades. I have no idea. This is so confusing. What happened? I don't get it. All right, uh, generate vitality because that's good. I don't know how far I even have to level her up either. I mean, she's running some decent stuff. I might as well just get the plus one to wisdom here. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Yeah, we'll we'll just do it that way. That that sounds like fun. I'm just a little, a little confused right now as to why I'm playing as her. And why, how, what happened, why is it this way, and, huh? Because I thought Hanhar was trying to help me, but apparently she's trying to help me too, so toughness is going to be the way here. Get her some extra health. Since she's a scout, it doesn't look like she has all too much more going for her. Sorry, this is so boring right away, just going back and forth through everything. Since I don't know anything about her, leveling all this stuff up and just go back into improved toughness. What does she have here? She has dueling. Okay. All right. Yeah, so why why is she helping me? I don't I don't get it. Uh, we'll put some points into her dexterity because why not make her harder to hit? That makes sense. Sure, I could have gotten the plus two, but you know that wisdom was right there. I might as well do it. So I guess we're about to we'll find out what what's going on here. Cuz your guess is as good as mine at this point. Just started off thinking I'm going to go in and start hacking and slashing and turns out nope, I've got to level up this chick who I've only seen in passing and I have no idea who she really is. Um character that uses single hand weapon well both ranged and melee weapons. Okay, yeah, we'll just do improved dueling for, for now. Okay, so she's leveled up. I'm just... I don't fully understand. Where am I going? Yeah, what? Yeah, why well, pressure suit? That's really strange. I'm looking for Visquiz. I wanted to know more about this place. Can I get something to drink? I need you to sharpen your horns. They look a little weak. I'm looking for the captain of the Lunar Shadow. Well, we're looking for Visquiz here. I don't think how anything else would work. Green Toxin Room. Okay, I'm going to be going now. I think that's this way. I, I'm, I'm going to guess. 
just in a pressure suit. That's odd. I just, I'm so confused as to what's going on. This looks green. Maybe, is this not the right way? Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. God, the suit is annoying. There's no point in even talking to anyone because it's not Aswad Dick Whistle and that takes all the fun out of it. He says go to the green toxin room list if I know where that is. We'll see what happens when he when he finds out it's this chick. Okay, this is definitely green toxic room. I guess. Maybe I'm This place is strange. Is this it? Are we not here yet? Where am I supposed to be going? The private lounge? Yes, that seems to be the way. I wouldn't trust this room anyways. Oh, now he's surprised it's a girl. Yeah, Hanhar's probably pissed. Good eyes, Hanhar. No wonder you're still number two on Narshada. Uh, she's got a lot of sass. And this guy's species ist, if we all look the same. Yeah, that's a good question. Where are yeah. we? And maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim the Jedi for yourself. She's bringing up good points, though. I mean, he's got a solid business plan. I can do things without being spotted. You signed on with Boga the Hut? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. Oh. Yeah, sign it up with the hut. I mean, the hut's probably offering to pay more to get rid of the thorn in his side, and two people want to do it. Always holograms with Goto. Interesting. Well, things yeah, are getting right. interesting. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty, and that means he's under my protection. I guess she fell into his trap anyways. That was not smart. Don't piss off the walking carpet. I mean, at the same time, this guy's acting really, really calm, cool, and collected for having his plan go south. So I'm guessing she wanted... She obviously wanted to claim me for the bounty, so she poisoned me for some reason. I know you can hear me. The numbness you feel should be wearing off soon. I'm going not to before we've spoken. murder you. When I first heard you were a Nar Shada, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here, but I see I underestimated you. When I've watched I you as up, you have traveled the refugee sector. Die. I've seen what you have done, what I refused to do. Even exiled, you are more a Jedi than I. I wouldn't if say anything, Jedi is me. Know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer while the exchange closes its grip on this sector. I will I know a young woman you. wants to meet with Visquis in your place. He will not negotiate with her. He will kill her. I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly or not at all. You if come you back come so I can kill answers, you myself. Or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail... Then you will be denied both. You son of a bitch. Get back 
here, asshole. Well, it looks to be in that locked room. So first thing I'm going to do is loot. So that's clearly one of the Jedi Masters. All right. Oh, well, clearly I'm not supposed to advance at that time. So does that mean I can go back to the Ebon Hawk then? I'm going to assume it does, and I'm actually going to attempt it because I know the twin sons, those two Twi'lek girls that attacked us, dropped some things. So I wonder if I can go back right away and claim them because that'd be rather nice. They had some decent weapons. I've been doing some looking into what weapons they actually had. And they sound pretty cool. So it does look like I can go back here. Which is promising. Which means I should be able to enlist my team to help me. After I go to the entertainment module. Is that this here? Entertainment prominence, whatever it's called now. Module, prominence... Entertainment, that's where I'm going because I know that's where Atten Atten was. This commenter's like deciding, do I go in there? Do I not? Because this is what I wanted to do before. So here's the bar. In theory, they yeah, there's some remains here. Twi'lek like spinning blades and a exchange negotiator. Another Twi'lek like spinning blade. Back again, I what see. up? How can I help Hi. you this time? What do you... Not did it, anything interesting about the area? Well, honestly, there's not much for people like you and I to do around here. If you, uh, catch my meaning. I do. I think I understand. What can you tell me, then? Well, there is plenty for them to do. The Pazak Den, Swoop Races, the Jet Jet Tar. They're pretty much taken care of. All right, I'll be going now. Well, that was not very helpful. All right. So now we can head back on out. I just wanted to pick those things up first and foremost, really. So we'll go back out, see if we can help our friends, or the crew, I should say. Just because they might need the help. Because Atten wasn't in there, which is a concern. I just want to make sure I don't go to the refugee sector. And that was what I was about to do, so I'm glad I didn't. So we'll see if we can get back to the Ebon Hawk to give it, get everybody. Unless it tells me I can't board the Ebon Hawk again, which will be mildly frustrating. Just to have to waste all this time to get back there. So here we are. Doesn't look like they're under attack by any means, but you know, we're seeing that off plot. So Ebon Hawk, you may not board the Ebon Hawk at this time. All right, so I am clearly locked into going there. So we'll put force, we'll put movement speed on, deal with the freak out, and run on back. So I guess I have to go into the Jack Jack Tard now, as opposed to when I wanted to. I am running like the wind. All right, we've made it to the docks. Record time too. Thank goodness. So some still minor freakouts from this. Should be wearing off probably in about 10 seconds. And then we'll be able to enter it. It lasts for long. There we go. Oh, that looks so much better. It's like we've come out of hyperspace. All right, so into the Jack Jack Tar we go. We have to go in now anyways. Got my breathing mask. Should be okay. Hello? Anybody here? Viscas! Let me in! You underestimate Lord Dick Whistle. Why is the poison going through the mask that I have on? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you. Listen to me. Clear your thoughts. You're in them. Stop it. Can't breathe. Crap. Said someone trying to stay conscious. What? Can't breathe. Still, you're breathing. 
Let the trace amounts of air in your lungs hold you. The force Easier can said than done. It. Listen to it. Let it keep you alive until you reach safety. Okay, I'll put my lightsaber through me and try. Calming thoughts. Calming thoughts. Killing Kreia. Ah, we did it. So we've learned a new force power, breath control. Protects you from all poison damage for a limited period of time at the cost of force points. Neat. This is an old technique similar to the healing trance. Some Jedi can hold their breath for hours. Even days. Or in the case of me, years. <coughs> you bet your ass I'm strong. <coughs> Getting nervous now, huh? Oh, so you're gonna turn all of the patrons against me then? Doesn't seem wise on your part. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut through them like a hot knife through butter. I'm already taking you for a fool. And if you think they're gonna barely weaken me, you're sorely mistaken. I'm gonna come in at full strength and just murder you. I can fight the toxins that are inhaled or absorbed through the skin with breath control. Select this force power and use it to keep you alive in the Jack Jack Tar. Sounds good, so I don't need that breath mask then. Which will be nice, so I could put back on my neural band. So obviously I'm gonna be making some friends here. Drop my energy shield. They're just kind of waiting for me, so I think I'm going to go and walk this way and go fight this guy. Push them all together. Got that off. I just, while I'm waiting, it's going to just let me fight. See, the problem is just queuing up everything while I'm getting fired at. All right, you guys are dead. Too easy. Take these guys over here. This, this should take care of it. Got to drop that. We'll do this then. This is just proving that now be a little on the easy side. So we'll drop that. So I can... So I can... Okay, apparently it just won't let me uh, scream anyways. So stay here. Drain his life. Then shock him for his insolence. And now we're just going to wait here for a little bit for the force powers to come on up. So we'll cancel combat so they regenerate a little quicker. Well, that was pretty easy. Not going to lie. Uh, half my force powers are back. Or half my force points. There's clearly more combat here than I anticipated. Do you, do you guys mind? I'm in the middle of something. Can you come back later? So that guy got saved, but can that save him from this? Instant triple kill. You guys like that? Just sitting here, because again, I want the force points to regen. And you know what? We might as well drop one of these adrenals, because why not? I'm not going to use them anyways. Did it just say it? You know what? We'll use six hyper battle stimulants. Because that sounds like a good idea. Re up my shield. And this guy is still sitting here. We'll just murder him right away. I just did 92 points of damage. In that alone, 92 points. That's insane. I'm stuck on a wall. That was interesting. Oh, so they're dropping remains, too. Obviously, bar patrons are going to attack me. Just have to keep it up that way. All right, so there's nothing else over here, it seems. Walk up to these guys. No, I want to walk up to these guys and then just scream because of the area of effect. Dude, did you really think that was a good idea? Clearly, you must have thought that was a good idea because you did it anyways. Okay, so my... That was bad. So let's see how long... Oh, wow, the poison really did a number on me. I'm going to have to drop an antidote kit. So I should... Eh, no, we'll see. So breath control. 
Some Jedi are able to slow their metabolism in such a way that they can actually stop breathing for much a much longer period of time than they would otherwise. This power provides immunity from poison for 240 seconds, so four minutes. All right, that's cool. So I don't have to worry about that for a while. So where's my antidote kit? Heal myself of that. Drop a med pack just because I can. And I'm just going to have to be wary of that going forward. I'm just going to take the chemicals so I can start making more. So we know off to the right is where we need to go. Chemical dispensing station? Well, that was easy. Okay. So we're just going to redrop that. Because it doesn't cost that many force points. We'll go in this way. And get ready for some more combat. Hey guys, what's going on? Asswad Dick Whistle here, ready for some murdering. Alright, so we'll put on an energy shield then. Maybe. Do you really want to do that? You can come fight me one on one. That's not going to go well for you, but okay. Next. All right, so we have some more baddies, it seems. If you're just going to stand here and fight by yourself, that's fine. Okay, that was way easier than anticipated. Just drop the heal here because no one else here. So I've got a little bit of time. I'm going to drop my breath control just to make sure it stays up. Did this fall off? No, it did not, but that's okay. And we're going to go ahead and fight these guys. Let's see how many I can kill in just one shot. The answer is all three. Wow, these guys are really not putting up much of a challenge. Okay. So this guy, I'm going to drain his life, heal back up, and then shock him. That did 57 points of damage in one go. Well, hot dang. That one did 64. These guys really don't stand a chance. All right, so everyone in... Nope. Looks like there's another one still. Come on and fight me. Don't fight me, you suck. Yeah, these guys are... Our pushovers in here. The other rooms seem much more difficult. All right, still keeping that up. You just sat and watched your friends die? Brutal. Now you die in two shots. All right. So still just toggling back and forth between battle meditation and my uh, force breath. Just because it's very well needed. All right, am I still going in the direction I don't want to go? Okay, so that's the room where I came in, right? And it is. Okay. Which is good. So I'm, I'm going the way to make sure I get the most experience, which is what I want. More experience equals more points, and higher stats equals a better asswad dick whistle for everybody. That makes me excited knowing that we'll get a better ass wide dick whistle. All right. Don't think there's anything more in this room besides the chemical dispensers. So it's probably been about that time to drop a breath control. Again, it doesn't hurt to drop it because it costs, I think it said it costs 20 points. So that's no big deal. Still at full health for the time being. My energy shield, I think, is still holding. For now. For now is the keyword. Alright, so I want to do breath control, then that. Then scream in their faces. These guys don't really stand a chance. That was easy once again. All right. Just walk around like we did before. 
swing at one. Do that. Oh, wow, that's a lot of enemies. And all of them just fall. That is crazy. Force Scream is great. I mean, Ashwa Dick Whistle's terrifying, but to be able to come over here and just single shot enemies, that is absurd. I like it. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely like it. I'm not complaining. I'm just like, holy shit, is this good? All right, I just took all the chemicals from there anyways. I know there are still more people in here. If they're not, that's quite impressive. We just cleared a room instantaneously. Now there's still one more little Gand guy. And I'm going to use him to heal with. That's the problem with trying to use shift and two to... No, I don't want to get close to him anyway. There's another one? These guys are just hiding in the corner. Die. There we go. Am I anywhere close to leveling up then? Nope. Still 3,000 experience away from a level up. All right, so before going into the next room, one loot to make sure we've got everything because I would feel in that crazy stupid multi-kill that I got over. Over here, there'd be a lot of enemy stuff. But I can understand there not being all too many drops. Which is fine. They're technically supposed to be scummy bar patrons. So there, there is that. Alright, so how many uses does my energy shield still have? Three. Okay. Drop that. Re up breath control. Battle meditation. Wait a couple of clicks here for the force points. And, you know, just for the fun of it, we're going to go one of the battle stimulants. And, yeah, that should do it. This was let me in. I only wish to talk. Don't you be running from me. A private sanctuary, you said, huh? How are these hunters living in this sanctuary? Oh, you two are going to regret crossing Aswat Dick Whistle. Yeah, stand together until this foe turns on both of you. Oh, to think I Aswad can't reach you? You are sorely mistaken, Squid Face. Oh, I'm gonna just help myself, thanks. Let me in, Fisquiz. Oh, hi. How's everyone doing today? Okay, 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 okay. Getting trapped on stuff already. Just fall at my feet. Just fall. Hey, shh. Here's a shocking revelation for you. Execute order 66 damage. What do you want? Uh-oh, it looks like my, uh, breath control almost... It did wear off. Thankfully, I didn't take a tick of poison damage. That would have been really bad. Oh, these guys are still just trying at it. Well, that's really easy. How do these guys have any credits on them? I guess I sat and watched them talk for so long that I ended up uh, 
losing most of my buffs. So that's always something to keep in mind. I'm going to have to keep a stopwatch here with me while I'm recording just to make sure that I'm able to time everything. So I don't have my buffs like that fall off. All right, we know there's another guy that's over here. Not really concerned just yet because we can come up here, do this, and then scream. And scream again should get us the kill. Easy. You know, all the easy stuff. So we're getting lots of chemicals to be able to make stuff with a little later. We'll bust out everyone who's got a good treat injury and just start making stuff at the, at the tables. Oh, there's still some more guys here. Do you really want to fuck with me? You just saw, the, saw me murder your entire clan. Is this really a good idea? Really? All right, there's a couple more over here. And just for the sake of fun, I'm going to plague him in the process. Oh, he's immune to it. Interesting. You still live. Never mind. He's dead now. All right, we're going to keep dropping that. Something had fallen off. I'm not sure what it was, but... Maybe it was the stimulant? All right, so everyone in here is dead. Loot the chemicals first. Good. So which is the way back out? That is the way back out. That is not the way I want to go. I want the other way, because that other way leaves me to Visquiz. And I wish to murder his fish face. So redrop that. And we have battle meditation, but we'll drop, put this back on. Fisquiz, where are you? Don't tell me I've come this far just for you to run away from me. Hello there, pretty lady. Why is that? Calm down, I mean you know harm more is Fisquiz. I'm looking for a quarry and have you seen him? Tell me where your at, master is, or you'll be a corpse. Or you'll be corpses. Tell me where your master is, or you'll be corpses. Thank you. All right. Anything I else I should know about his private chambers, traps, defenses? They're wookie with him. Get to safety, I'll handle your master, then get out of here now before I kill you. Anything else I should know about his his private chambers? A maze of tunnels to lead to his chamber. Huh. That is good one. I'll be fine. They don't scare me. I'll be fine. Ube is great. I, they hate Jedi, even ex-Jedi more than anything. So some Ube has survived the Republic Purge. Up to me to finish the job. Okay, so a maze, poison, gas, and Ube's guards. Got it. Ah, so Ube survived the Purge, huh? means I must finish the job. Keep in mind, Toots, if your information is wrong, I come back up here and murder everything. All right, is there a Wookiee with him? I'm going to kill him. Actually, the Wookiee and I have an arrangement. Bisquiz is the one in danger. That Wookiee is going to help, is going to get me to Goto. After that, he's a carpet. <laughs> well, just get out of here before I kill you. The Wookiee is going to get me to Goto. After that, he's a carpet. I'm going to skin him and put him on my floor. Neither does Visquis, trust me. Your master is in for a surprise. Get to safety, I'll handle your master. Just get out of here now before I kill you. 
Oh, neither does Visquis. Trust me, your master is in for a surprise. You've said that. You're starting to bore me and frustrate me. Alright, then get out of here now before I kill you. Alright. So we gotta find that little scumbag. First, I'm gonna take everything from him in this area. And then come back. Move. Oh, there's nothing there. You are in my way. She'll probably tell me the same stuff. I could still attempt. Which I might, just for the sake of attempting. You. Alright, yeah, she's more terrified of me than anything else. As she should be. She should be terrified of the Dark Lord of the Sith, so we will take these chemicals and go on down to his private chambers. Oh, he is not going to know what hit him. He is in for a very, very big surprise. Because I'm going to get down there and be very angry. Hanhar, that is why it's a private quarter. This can be fun to navigate through. Anyone protecting the stronghold is dying. It's a good thing I'm a Sith, otherwise this would be a problem. But weapons and tools break. And yours are about to... That yours are about to break. They're going to realize all this training is for nothing. No, I'm going to do it quickly so they don't know what even hit them. Oh, Viscus, you have no idea what you're getting into. All right, through the tunnels, down to Bisquis' stronghold. There's a buzz of static from your map screen. It looks as if the interface in the tunnels is scrambling the map. Oh, that's going to be a whole bunch of fun here. So let's start venturing to see. We'll start by going to the left. Average frag mine. Just have to avoid that. Already moving in circles. I like it. See what might be down here. Careful not to uh, trip any of the mines. Hey, there's someone. Pharaoh's corpse. Plasma torch and a data pad. And 430 credits! This may be my last entry. I tried to navigate the vents beneath the docks to meet up with Suyin, but the map's showing static and I can't get a fix on my position. The vent doors keep sealing behind me. The gas mask's running out of air, and there's only a few charges left in my plasma torch. I'm not going to last much longer if I don't find an exit port. Well, it doesn't look like she made it. Pity. Ow! Speaking of pity, the pity I took a hit from that. All right, so we'll do some more looking. The left is always a good way. I'm going to end up getting lost back here. Did I just find her again? No, I found Su Yin. Found the friend. 50 credits. Your friend was richer. 
First the map goes static, then I hit a frag charge, tearing my leg to hell. Who places charges down here? Fair must have set me up, or someone else is protecting something down here. If I could still walk, I could gather the frag mines, use their beacons to leave a trail out, but there's not much chance of that. Looks like Voga isn't going to get his spice after all. They'll break down into their chemical components in an hour in these fumes. Shame that. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm taking some poison damage. Hold on, I'm, I'm working on it. There we go. I'll just let the poison take its way. High security door. I think I found the way out. All right, time to crack this thing open. All the preparations in the world won't save you, Han Har. Hey, Visca, sorry to spoil your fun, but I found the exit. Might it be by sheer dumb luck, but I still found it. Oh, I'm getting through that door. Whether you like it or not, I'm getting through that door. Well, that's a precarious position. What's with her? Mira, why why does Aswet care? Yeah, he's gonna be a little pissed when he finds you. This guy's all sorts of messed up. Oh, the two of them are going to fight. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I have no knowledge of what she's capable of doing. And now I'm on arm, so I'm definitely going to have to do this on the fly. Maybe I should have put that extra point in uh, dexterity rather than her wisdom. That does it, Hanhar. I don't want to kill you, but I will if you don't get out of my way. No, Aswan wants to kill him. Well, Hanar has become your temporary character. Oh! So I'm not her, I am Hanhar now. Then escape the arena and let the Jedi into Visquis's stronghold. So interesting. In my past playthroughs, I've always played as Mira at this point, and she lets him in. So, must be a dark side thing. All right. Hanhar, in addition to his great strength, also has Wookiee toughness and can rage, increasing his strength further. That sounds badass. Let's check that out. What's the, what, what, is, what is this? Oh, I got to level him up and two, but I want to see his rage first. Where is it? This must be it. Wookiee Rage. This feat allows Wookiees to enter an instinct-driven blood rage. In this state, they gain plus two strength bonus, plus one vitality per character level, plus one to their fortitude and will saves that are immune to paralysis and stasis. Every creature they kill, kill fuels their rage even more, adding to the damage they do in combat to a maximum of plus six. The Wookiee Rage, when Wookiee Rage is activated, the character suffers a minus two penalty to defense. There's the catch on that one. And Wookiee Toughness, this feat represents the innate toughness that Wookiees have developed as a result of their heritage and the hard life they have lived. Yeah, being constantly sold into slavery can do that. Any damage they suffer is automatically reduced by two, and they gain an additional plus two vitality points each time they level up over and above any constitution modifier. Interesting. 
And actually, we are going to begin with this fight next time. I'm going to end the episode here. It's been quite an eventful time. This is going to be a great way to kick it off next time with a bloody, bloody battle. But as always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button down below or leaving a comment. It really does help me out. If you're new to the channel or have not done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to unleash your power and hit that little bell for notifications as to when new videos come out. And I will see all you heroes in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great rest of your day. Take care.